At the end of 2022, Vaporesso was one of the most prolific companies both commercially, and in terms of product innovation that literally took the market by storm. We saw this with the iTank and the Gen 200, and today we have further confirmation of this great success with the Lux X and XR versions. I've talked about them in every way possible, describing them as photonic pod mods with photonic aroma, showing you tips and solutions to use them to their fullest potential, which has led to the channel receiving over 50,000 views and more than 1,000 likes. I won't hide that there were also some dislikes, but there were around 600 interactions overall. I went through all the comments and today, with this video, I will respond to all those people who had problems, there weren't many, to be honest, with these Lux X and XR versions. So, as always, sit back, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. We'll see you in exactly 30 seconds to put a definitive point on this, and I add, finally, on these two Vaporesso Lux models. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. I must confess that I always carry these Lux with me, and that's the reason why I'm making this video today. They are those little products that I always have with me. I keep buying both the pods and the GTX coils in Corex mode because finally, on the market, it's possible to find the Corex version of the GTX. And during the purchase, to avoid any confusion, I always go for the 0.4. Here on the video, I have the main questions you asked me in the comments. One of the classic ones was, which one to choose between the Lux X and the Lux XR? I tell you that they are two identical products. Both have the Pirulino, both have a 1500 mAh battery, both have the pass-through function, neither have automatic drawing, and both can reach 40 watts. So, they are practically identical. If you have to choose between the pod with a non-replaceable coil, from 0.4 to 0.8, or the pod of the XR with a replaceable coil, the pods are interchangeable with each other. So, if you have the Lux X, you can use the XR, and vice versa. Therefore, you don't have any problems from this point of view. I prefer to buy those with non-replaceable coils because, in my opinion, pods with an integrated coil perform a bit better and also last a bit longer. Second question, which GTX coils can I use? The coils that can be used on the XR, on the XR pod, and therefore on the pod with a non-replaceable coil are 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1.2, while the pods with non-replaceable coils are 0 0.4. 0.6, and 0.8. Do many people use the 0.8 for a good MTL? Absolutely, I said that it doesn't produce a completely natural MTL hit, but it's true that in the comments I have confirmation that many people use this Lux X or Lux XR in cheek puff mode. If you want a slightly tighter draw, you can cover the larger hole with transparent tape or insert some cotton. Another question, what do you think of the pod with the 0.6 coil? In my opinion, this pod is neither here nor there because I couldn't find the right place for it between the 0.4 and 0.8 coils. I honestly prefer to buy the 0.4 directly if I want a full-bodied and interesting flavor, or the 0.8, which for example is what my company Rena uses to make a cheek puff or slightly restricted flavor. Another question, what liquid density should I use? Many people ask me if they can use 70 30ths, 60 40ths, 50 50ths liquids, and I tell them that in general, 60 40ths works great, which is the density of liquid that I think is perfect for both those who have a compulsive draw and those who take longer pauses between draws. As I always say in my videos, for my vaping style on both pods, with all types of coils, I always use 50 50 liquids. I'm a compulsive vapor, you've seen that I tend to take very long draws, and with the 50 50 base, I feel great and I've noticed that this allows the coils to last longer, much longer than when I used a 70 30 liquid. Another thing, what about the splashes in the mouth? It's true that sometimes there are splashes in the mouth, and this happens when the battery is running low or when the liquid is running out. So, when the liquid level is low, it's possible to get splashes in the mouth. The solution is to recharge. Recharge the battery, recharge the liquid pod, and then use the thermometer method. So, put a tissue on the drip tip and on the pod, shake it a couple of times to remove excess liquid, and the pod will start working normally again. Last question, have you found any condensation under the pod? It's true that you can find a little condensation when it's resting. I always find the classic droplet, and every time I refill, I dry the liquid and the condensation that I find underneath and on the side of the pod. 
but it doesn't create any problems for me. I've never stained my pants, my clothes, or my bag, but this thing is accentuated by the wear of the coil. So, when the coil is nearing the end of its life, it will lose a little more liquid. But as I said, it's never been a problem for me, and from what I've read in the comments, many people don't have this problem either. Last question to wrap up this video, Tato, will the automatic draw version be released? I spoke to the marketing manager of Vaporesso until two days ago, and he assured me that there will be no new version of these Lux X and XR with automatic draw. I say alas because, in my opinion, automatic draw on this little product would have been the icing on the cake. I'm Tato. This is the Unico Svarpo channel. As always, let me know in the comments what you think, let me know if you have any other doubts about these two Vaporesso products. I continue to call them, Photonics, and let me know if you agree with my definition. As always, we'll see each other in the comments, but as I always say, vape safely. Bye bye for now.